Ticket is a conversational service desk from Microsoft Teams that meets users where they are and scales with you throughout your Microsoft Cloud journey. Whether you're just getting started or looking for ways to integrate disparate teams across your organization, Ticket brings it all together in a familiar experience. Let's start with the most common scenario that happens between employees and teams, requests arising from natural conversation. Now, Diego, our IT agent seen here on the right in dark mode, is having a conversation with Adele, seen here on the left in light mode. She's a manager in the organization and is having some trouble with her laptop. Now, Diego really needs to be able to work this message as an incident, and he can do that simply by hovering over this message and choosing to create a ticket. And he's going to modify just a couple things. Uh, let's clean the request up. I want to make sure this is active. Yes, it's an incident. Uh, it should go to the IT support team. Uh, and we want to make sure this actually is seen by the desktop group. And submit. Now, since we pick the IT team and desktop group, it's going to end up in that team and that channel as configured within Ticket. And you'll also notice that Adele received some context-aware notifications about the ticket that was just created on her behalf inside of Teams. But more on that later. Let's go into Teams with Diego. So if we head over to our Teams, uh, you'll notice that we actually have several groups uh, within the support team that Diego has access to, and also a couple other teams as well. Right? So you can see networking, server maintenance, operations, but of course, desktop, where we created this ticket. And since all team members have access to all channels, that means that they can actually move between these different groups, leave comments on tickets, and even reassign these tickets to different groups or different teams. While creating incidents or service requests from messages no doubt resonates with service desk agents, if you're looking to level up the employee self-service experience, you could do so with Ticket Virtual Agent and its fully configurable help card. Whether you're working in facilities, IT, human resources, or really anywhere else, Ticket Virtual Agent can be customized, taught, but most importantly, support a multi-team experience, giving all the employees in your organization a single place to create new tickets, access frequently used knowledge, and of course, submit brand new requests. Now, it just so happens that Adele does need to submit a new request, and she needs to onboard somebody. Now, she could click onboard a new employee, but she could also say employee management. When she does, she'll actually get a couple responses back from Ticket Virtual Agent, and she can choose which one best suits what she's after. In this case, well, we want onboarding requests. And let's fill this out. We want to hire uh, Harvey Birdman, who is going to be our senior lawyer. And he's going to work in legal. He is going to be full time. He's going to start next Tuesday, and he does need a laptop and a phone, and some. Now, Ticket Virtual Agent isn't just for end users. It's actually applicable to agents as well. And in fact, Diego, over here on our right, does have some work that he needs to do. And in fact, he can actually say the same exact thing as Adele did. Let's do employee management. Now in this case, Diego actually gets one extra response, one extra agent-only response that only he and his fellow agents can see. And it's in regards to actually changing permissions around employee groups. And while we're here, now Diego also has one other question of a far less technical nature. When are the company holidays? Now this is great because when Ticket Virtual Agent doesn't know how to respond, it can actually fall back to OpenAI as it exists in your Azure tenant and provided with your data can provide answers directly in chat. With Ticket Virtual Agent, everyone is a requester. Ticket Virtual Agent helps employees get what they need no matter what department they need it from whether it's IT, facilities, HR, or any other departments that you choose to make available through Ticket. Now in this case, I know what I need help with, but I'm not really sure where to start. And that's okay because I actually can just ask my question like, where can I check my company benefits? 
Now, even without a trained knowledge base for ticket deflection, I, as the requester, can still create this ticket. But more importantly, I can choose where this ticket should actually go. Now, this does feel like more of an HR thing, so let's pick that and click Submit Request. Now, with that ticket submitted, as the requester, I receive confirmation of that ticket and what it is. And over on the team's agent side, seen here on the right in dark mode, I get confirmation that a new ticket has been created. Now, whether I'm part of one, five, or a hundred teams, ticket integrates with my teams and its respective channels so that I can immediately begin working tickets. But I can also choose to work this and other tickets in Ticket's agent portal. Inside of Ticket's agent portal, which you can access using your M365 and Entry credentials, you can see a list of all of the tickets assigned to all of the departments and teams that you have access to. But you can also see a list of all of the tickets, tasks, and approvals assigned to you, in addition to all of the tickets, tasks, and approvals assigned to you and your group. Now, you might remember that Adele submitted an onboarding request not too long ago, and I have it open, so let's see where that currently is. Now, this ticket is just a little bit different in that it has a life cycle applied to it. And that life cycle happens to have phases of work that control when that work occurs. So let's dive into our life cycle tab. And you can see that we're already past the HR approval phase, which I can expand and see that Diego has approved it. And once he has, we're immediately on to the next phase of account provisioning. Now, there's several tasks in here that immediately get assigned out to the service desk in order to complete. But there's one task in particular that no one's doing, and that is our Power Automate task. With Power Automate tasks, we can kick off flows of work directly from within those phases of work as the life cycle progresses, which means we can mix and match manual tasks with fully autonomous ones. So let's head over to the Power Automate portal next to see how this works. Using Ticket's Power Automate connector, citizen developers across the organization can integrate non-Microsoft technologies and Microsoft technologies all together in a low-code or even no-code based solution. Now, in the case of our onboarding lifecycle, we have a Power Automate task whose flow is rather simple, but can be as complex as necessary. And it all starts with the following Power Automate trigger, when a lifecycle PA task becomes active. Now, when this starts, this allows us to actually zero in on that particular phase of work and that particular Power Automate task. And again, this only begins once the approved new hire phase of work has been completed. And once this actually starts, we're gonna get that ticket, we're gonna get the details of that ticket, how the form was filled out, and we're gonna use that to create a user inside of Microsoft Intra. Now, once that user has been created, we're gonna do a couple things in parallel. We're gonna leave a comment on that ticket, create some tasks in Asana, start a job in Salesforce, and even refresh a data set inside of Power BI. In this way, we can ensure that relevant stakeholders always have access to the latest information they need at any given time. And all of this ultimately resulting in processes that were once manual, now turning automated, saving hours for everyone involved. If you remember from the very beginning, Adele was having some trouble with her laptop that Diego created a ticket for her on her behalf directly from a message inside of Microsoft Teams. But creating that ticket is really only the first step. Being able to actually investigate that device and look at it through Microsoft's mobile device management platform Intune brings this entire experience full circle. Now you can get there by navigating to users and viewing users' devices, or better yet, contextually right from a ticket. Now, of course, I can upload some attachments, change some properties, but all I actually have to do is click on her name, head over to Link Devices, and here's all of Adele's Intune devices, where I can see their name, manufacturer, model, and other relevant details. I can also perform common Intune actions, such as retiring, wiping, rebooting, or heading to the Intune portal if I want to view even more details. All of this results in less clicks and more doing. For customers looking to create truly unique reporting experiences, Ticket extends itself further into the Microsoft ecosystem with integrations for Excel and Power BI. Both offer familiar experiences for their respective audiences and up to the second reporting as they both connect directly to your Ticket environment. For example, let's say I was interested in seeing the kind of work that Diego's been doing. By simply clicking on his name, the dashboard will adjust all related charts for you. And best of all, should you publish this dashboard into SharePoint or Teams, that same experience still carries forward across tickets, 
SLAs, and of course, even life cycles, where here I can view their status and once again, click to adjust the relevant charts. If you're interested in experiencing Ticket for Yourself, we offer a fully functional 14-day trial absolutely free. In fact, we're so committed to the success of Ticket that we'll even help you set up and configure in a complimentary setup call. Just head on over to Ticket.ai to get started now.